Sean Watson talked about um, leading this offense and this team, as well as how the offense continues to evolve. Yeah, we have those conversations every day. Every time we get in the meeting room, you know, they're asking questions. I'm asking questions. You know, I'm giving you know suggestions or making statements. They're doing the same thing. So it's an open it's an open room uh, once we get in that room, and that's how you know we're going to continue to grow and be able to have success because no one's in that room. AVP or Kevin, who's calling the plays, AVP, who's you know dealing up the the scripts uh, and all that. No one is stubborn. No one is is you know insecure with this is the way we need to do it. Everyone's open to all right, whatever works is going to work for us, and if we like it, then we're going to run it. How much excited are you about it, knowing that it's all really now tailored all to you and it should show good strength? I'm very excited. You know, it just. A lot more responsibility for myself, but uh, I like the weight on my shoulders, and, and for me to be able to go out there and, you know, show what I what I got and, and help me lead this team to a lot of victories. That's the that's where I want to get to. So we have a lot of work to put in this this next break, um, and once we come back and on the 19th, we got to be ready, locked and loaded, and show what we got. And, and um, Lance, this, that was one of the most. I was most excited to hear him talk about that because it truly sounds like Kevin Stefanski is designing the offense around Deshaun Watson's skill set, and that, I think, is the key um, to this offense being elite. Yeah, you know, it's funny as an offense coordinator, so Kevin knows what he knows. He's a, he's a, the, these NFL guys are so good, and Kevin Stefanski is one of the best at play design. So he knows what he knows. He knows a uh, wide zone. He knows gap schemes. He knows his layered routes. He knows he, he's got a very complex offense. Great players make uh, play design pretty easy. So he's <laughs> able to take what he does and he's going to he's gonna adjust it. So some of the base run plays you get with Nick Chubb, there's still going to be base run plays, but now you're going to get uh, a run pass option off it. So the offensive line is going to do the same thing. He's going to do the same play thing, but now they can adjust to what he does really well, which is being in the gun. Um, and, and what he gives you, he, like I said, he is a he is a toy that the Browns have not had in terms of run and pass. Uh, they've surrounded him with a bunch of talent now. So again, not only does he have talent, but the one thing that uh, Deshaun never gets credit for, in my opinion, is his ability to process information. He can read the entire field. He's not a half field guy. He's not reading a, a one side. He understands what the entire field's doing. Um, he put he puts in a ton of work in the film room. You can just see by watching him. So. Uh, I think with this offseason and, and everything he's going to be able to do, and, and when they say that they're open conversations, he's telling him, this doesn't work for me. I don't see it. Uh, Kevin's saying, well, that's what I've done before. What can we do different? So they're, if they're on the same page and they truly are, 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 are open in, in open conversations, uh, it could be pretty scary what they could do offensively. Yeah, I agree with you, especially his ability to process information is elite. It is among the best. I think it's one of the things that made him so good in Texas. And if you think about it, the fact that he was in a new system, new teammates, um, the whole delayed start to the season, I think that's the reason he wasn't processing it as quickly a season ago. But I'm with you. When he is on, he is as good as there is at reading stuff in a hurry. Um,